Hey chums, and welcome to another Let's Play with me, RC, here on Video Chums. Today we are playing a very spooky-seeming game, Maneater. Actually, this is a game I've been waiting for a while. I don't know if you guys remember a trailer released, I believe it was last year, E3, where <laughs> they showed a game where he plays a shark that eats a bunch of people and other things, and destroys stuff, and me being a lifelong fan of Jaws, I could not wait to play this one, and here we are with Man Eater finally. Um, this is by uh, Tripwire. It's the guys who did uh, Killing Floor, uh, which is a, a, a semi-popular first-person shooting game uh, that is, uh, I believe, it's only on Steam. I think it's PC only. I don't think it's on the consoles, but I, I could be mistaken. Regardless, it's a uh, wave-based shooting, like horror FPS uh, with bosses and everything in it. It's pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the guys did with Man Eater here. Um, so you know what? Without further ado, why don't we jump into the game? Bot one. Oh man, look at that! What more do you need? You got the shark going after the dude's foot. I, me personally, I don't need anything else. But I'm already in. But yeah, from the first time I saw this trailer, I was just like, oh my god. I can play as Jaws times 20. I'm totally Meanwhile, in. aboard the Cajun Queen. <laughs> Pierre LeBlanc. Known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. Daddy hunted sharks. I hunt sharks. To the blood. There was somebody better at this, you'd be following them, yeah? Oh, people. We got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. Scientists say how we gotta coexist. Now, how you gonna coexist with a shark, huh? Shark just wanna do one thing. That's kill you, eat you, and you out. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, eh? But 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fonte Fire. Huh. Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by rusty harpoon embedded in flank. The f out of my way. Got a job. Love that this is supposedly framed around like a reality fishing show. It's pretty great. This oh, man. This is an adult bull shark. Fast, fierce, and armed quite literally to the teeth. She has little to fear here in the Gulf. Uh, let's see. You can... No, we're going to keep what we got. The muscular marvel confidently moves through its water. Wow, this looks really good, too. Now, I am playing this on PC, just so you guys know. Okay, we can bite with that. Oh, we're going to eat the mahi-mahi. And you can sprint. Oop. Oh, we, we just bit the mahi mahi, but we did not we did not finish it. Oh, you got to keep tapping. Okay, I see. Oh my god, the shark will stop! No, I ate a turtle. That was not something I was expecting to do. Tail whip your your prey as well. Okay. We'll hit the little parrot fish. There you go. Okay, so you can tail whip him. Then eat him. That's pretty fun. Exhibiting behavior more common to a thresher shark, this bull makes creative use of her powerful tail. Swim to the surface at normal speed to enter knifing. Knifing allows you to skim the surface of the water and stalk your prey. Alright, let's do it. I was wondering if the game was going to keep like a uh, encyclopedia of all the fish you could eat or something like that. That would be sweet. Tail whipped. Shark cannot exactly go up. <laughs> go up the ladder. That would be funny if so. A coral grouper. Now yeah, we're immediately spit out here to a sea wreck. Yeah, this is actually a pretty game here.
Okay, we are gonna go to the surface here. And we are knifing. It is a sinister reminder to humans that the ocean remains a wild and untamed domain. You could jump with space, space bar to the air from the knifing position to reach humans. Okay, press to jump from knifing. The bull performs an acrobatic feat worthy of an orca, cruelly imprisoned and put on display in a marine park stunt ship. Leave knifing by hitting C to submerge. Okay. To the ocean below. Gain burst of speed by lunging. The bull's speed is astounding for a large marine predator. Oh, the shark still got like a harpoon in the side of it there, on the right. That's that's just about the fin. That's crazy. All right. Uh, let's see. Lunge upwards through the surface to breach out of the water. Okay. A breaching shark is a rare and calorie intensive spectacle. Woo! That boat definitely had some kind of accident, didn't it? I love you can hear those people like they're totally freaking out. <laughs> Pretty good. We have to jump up and grab one of those. Uh, hold on an object and press to whip shot. Okay. Oh, that didn't work. Hold on one second here. Ah, that's pretty cool. Oh, so you could actually... <laughs> we bit their boat. Call the Navy, she yells. Uh, we gotta do one more whip shot here. Oh, there's a human. Oh, we gotta eat that guy. He's running out of breath. Sorry, turtle. Learning to swim complete. All right, Terror of the Bay, kill the beachgoers. All right, let's knife up here a bit. Just want to talk about like, just I know that a lot of people are going to be like, ah, it doesn't look next gen or whatever. Like, but this to me looks really beautiful. Love the way the water looks. Love that you could see the cities and other big ships in the distance and stuff like that. Like, it's super cool. You can even see what looks to be like an oil rig out that way, too. All right, we're going to dive back down. Required Elder. Okay, so it sounds like you can unlock other sharks to get to other areas. It's kind of interesting. Oh man, look at this. Inflatable unicorn. <laughs> oh! That sharks feed on mollusks, fish, and seals. Less disgust is their propensity to feed on feet. Three. Who's next? Dive. Did I get them all? Or did one get away? I thought there were four in there. Maybe it was just three. That guy had no idea what was coming. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh dear lord. Okay. Oh, that must be where the other dude ran off to. Yep, I think it was. Sorry, lady. Oh, you could hear her screaming underwater. <laughs> wow. All right, we got three more we got to get. We are going to swim out this way. Oh, 
Oh, that's fun to do. It must be emphasized that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a show. Alright, so you can hit L to view your quest. Okay, so this is what I was looking for. Infamy. Infamy points. Kill bounty hunter boats to increase your infamy points. Fill the meter to bring out the hunter leader. Interesting. Okay. Look at all these different <laughs> people looking to hunt sharks. Uh, the log. Meet Pete. Bring the Skufla shark hunter to justice by tearing him into tiny digestible chunks. Confront Scaly Pete. Uh, you can find collectibles too. Crawfish Bay is littered with all sorts of odds and ends that could prove valuable for a clever shark. Hmm. Uh, collect all license plates. So, then you gotta collect all caches. Okay, so there's stuff to collect and find too, so that's cool. That shark is a good work on their nose. Go get him, Chad. Boat combat. You can reach higher places like boat decks, uh, boat decks using air lunge. Lunge out of the water and bite he humans off the boats. Okay. Press Q and E to evade. Oh, they got laser sights. Okay. Uh, you can use focus threat to focus on nearby enemies. Press F while above water. And hostile boats will be prioritized. Okay. That's so good, quite honestly. All right, dive. All right, so that's how you dodge, I see. I'm dodging. I'm trying to get that guy. Got him lined up. Where's this guy? Got him. Yeah, we sunk that boat. <laughs> I love that you could be on the boat <laughs> eating somebody. <laughs> That's pretty great. Got that guy. Oh, we got this guy. That guy could swim. There we go. I hit R. I didn't know what that was, but... It's got to be something helpful, right? I saw it in my uh, list of tricks there next to my, my head, or behind my head, I should say. Okay, we check out the three boats. Oh, here we go. Scaly Pete. Let's see how this goes, Scaly Pete. Oh! Scaly Pete has captured you. Well, that ain't good. On board the Cajun Queen, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. My dad is on all right. But this ain't the shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. Just killed us. Oh, Damn you, Scaly she Pete. She's on for me. Hello. 
<laughs> Are your mama in there? <laughs> oh, but well, why'd you do that? So I can identify her. Next time I see her, when I spear her. Nice bite. You take a hand? Yes. The tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. We never want to turn on the camera. Wow, what an intro. <laughs> so you play as the spawn, the descendant of the first shark you're playing as. Is that is that what they're going for here? Just pretty silly. It's like a revenge story for the shark. That's great. This is this is great the way they put this together. Like some kind of reality show. Very clever. Alright, so here we are. We ate his hand. Big game hunter once posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh, it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game. What is this over here? Ah, it's a landmark. Okay, so we found one. planning a cemetery, try to avoid high-risk coastal areas. Huh. Makes sense. I will say, um, this game, uh, as far as, like, mood and, uh, I guess we'll say, hmm, like, I don't want to say atmosphere, but definitely mood, the tongue-in-cheek humor, you know, the, the way it's presented and stuff like that, really reminds me of, like, a destroy-all-humans type of situation, um, especially when you're, uh, you're playing as a creature, you know, that does not belong in this world. <laughs> I mean, belongs in this world, but I mean, like, uh, a creature that's, like, going above and beyond doing crazy things, eating humans and such, you know, that kind of thing. Alright. I'm just kind of hunting around here, like, fishing. Eat a grouper, why not? I'm gonna see if we can find any other landmarks here, because why not? Oh, you can eat, and you do get a, uh... There was a level progress bar that showed up in the bottom right, so let's... Let's go after this turtle. So you can see we are getting a smidge of, uh, growth out of that. Interesting. So we gotta go from pup to whatever. So elder is, like, whatever you're gonna, uh, raise yourself into eating stuff. So when it says Elder is required, that's what it means. It's like a size stage that you can level up to. That's pretty fun. Ooh. Gonna eat that day, a catfish. I, I love the Cajun accents, by the way. Wildlife combat. Wildlife can be hostile. Evade to dodge their attacks. When you see the wildlife glow, they are vulnerable. Attack while they are vulnerable to stun. Q and E to evade. Hold the left mouse button with an object in your mouth and wiggle the mouse to thrash. So you could thrash an object or a, a human or a fish or something too. That's pretty sweet. Um, you can use focus threat to focus on nearby enemies. Okay. I wanted to do the wiggle thing. Oh, crap. Where, do you, where are you? Where are you? Where'd you go? There you are. Got it. Alright, so there are going to be hostile wildlife as well. Like, not just easy wildlife that you can eat. All right, so we can knife around here. There's an airboat. Nobody in the airboat. 
You can still jump at it. All right. Takes me back to <laughs> riding, riding an airboat when I was a kid in Florida. I haven't ridden one of those since, but they are pretty fun. Gotta say. Oh, there's an alligator there. I'm gonna stay away from the alligator. That thing looks like it could totally eat me. All right, we're gonna make our way to the objective now. I kind of more or less just wanted to check things out, look for more optional objectives and stuff. What is this thing? Some kind of radar scanner thing? Hey, look at that. Oh, look, you could <laughs> just keep jumping out of the water. A short skills are not designed to function out of water. I'm gonna have to wait till I get bigger to get that one. I think I couldn't quite get to it. Oh, that don't look... That don't look good at all, does it? Is that where I need to go? Or is there another way? Oh, we got another one of those, though. Yum. Those uh, angry wildlife dudes give me a bit more... bar for my level up bar there, which is good. I think we have to venture through... I think we have to venture through here. It looks dangerous, but we're gonna go for it. I assume we Oh, new Once evolution. More, Advanced sonar. Back to this place of centered call. I was thinking all this purple stuff was actually gonna hurt me if I touched it or something, but okay, press I to open the evolution menu. There's our little shark. We are still a pup. Alright, so you can put on advanced sonar. Nutrients are resources gained by eating wildlife, humans, destroying boats, and completing quests. Nutrients increase your level and upgrade your evolutions. Evolutions are mutations that grant you amazing powers such as bone armor, poison glands, or bioelectric organs. You can earn evolutions by gaining infamy ranks, completing landmark quests, and killing apex predators. Probably like that gator we saw earlier. Uh, to equip evolutions, return to the grotto and press I. You can spend nutrients to upgrade your evolutions. All right, so at the moment we got 580. We do not have enough for that, but we do have it at least equipped at the moment. So it looks like you can equip new jaws and heads and fins and stuff like that. That's, <laughs> that's pretty sweet. So if you unlock new sharks or, or whatever, you can do that. That's pretty cool. Uh, so we got to destroy a musky... And we've got to kill 10 catfish. So we do have some story quests to take care of here. We still have... Uh, let's see. There we go. There's the first landmark we found there. So there's 10 of those. Okay. I think I got it here. behavior more common to whales and dolphins, this shark is able to use biosonar to locate potential prey. I'm just kind of looking around here, see if there's anything cool going on. All right, that's where we came in. So the sonar is connected to this ship. All right, so we just used the sonar, but I didn't see anything specific here. I thought we were going to have to sever this line here, so that way the radar couldn't pick us up or whatever, but... Hmm. I do not see anything. I like all the junk that's in here, though. That's pretty cool. Alright. I guess we're going to go find some catfish. 
Use the log to track or untrack a quest. So if we want to do T on this one, we could track catfish. Detect nearby points of interest and the primary nutrients of prey. Ah, there we go. Hey, and a landmark. We didn't see that one before. Okay. Perfect. I have one of those new pop-up tough stoppers at home. And let me tell you, those things are just a magnet for hair and debris. Well, lovely. Alright, we got turtles, we got groupers, I don't see any cat- oh, there's a catfish. Does that count? Come on, dive back. Okay, there is a cache or something on the other side of this. Is the muskie around here? I, I saw that one just like up here. Kill these elite animal and human threats to earn rewards. Okay. I don't mind it being on... Oh yeah, it must be right around here. Okay, so the quest pops up when you're looking for it. Or even if you're not looking for it. So that's cool. Come here. Oh, we did the thrash thing. That was pretty cool. So I'm assuming that red arrow right there is the muskie. Yep, hunted. Oh, it's level five though. I can't handle that yet. I'm still, I'm still a little pup. So I thought, let me go. Let me go do the catfish one first. 300 meters that way. Let's go. Let's go do that one first, and we'll come back for the musky because that dude's a level five elite. Level five elite musky guys. Don't want to mess. There's a turtle. Not exactly what we're looking for, though. Just want to try again, see if I can actually reach this thing. No, it doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, get in there. We're gonna have to wait till we up a level here. Okay, so here we are for the catfish. Now, I really like that the quests pop up when you're in the area for something. Instead of uh, not letting you, you know, do anything about it, <laughs> you know, or not telling you ahead of time. There's the level 8 alligator. Oh, jeez, he's coming right for me. Is he still coming for me? Uh, no, I don't see him. Where did he go? Oh, he's right there. Oh, Jesus. Eat the catfish! <laughs> no! There's alligators all over the place here. Ah! That's a turtle. Need the catfish. Wow, they, they really throw you like right into it, don't they? They're like, hey dude, you <laughs> you're gonna have to swim away from alligators. Well, I'll also try to catch these catfish. Come back here. Alright, it's 5 out of 10. Come here, angry fish. There we go. Still figuring out the uh, controls here. So you want to lunge at them and hold the button then thrash, so that's kind of how that all works. There's a mysterious thing over here. There we go. Level 2 reached. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. 
And that cash really helped. Alligator really <laughs> does some damage. You look at my health bar. Wow. I think I could reach that license plate now, though. There it is. And back in. All right, we only need two more catfish, so let's let's get these guys eaten real quick. Get this quest done. Then we'll go after that musky, I think. That gator there will be a hard one to avoid, let me tell you. That's my terrible, uh, whoa, Cajun accent. of catfish, which is just fine by local bully Rosie the Alligator. All right, we hit level three. Crash. All right, what do we got going on now? We've got... Musky business. We'll track that one now. Thrash. The thrashing thing is definitely fun to do. I love grabbing onto them and just like shaking the mouse to eat them up. Where are you? And there was another guy. There you are. Got him. All right, here we go. We're going to go in for the musky. It's a level five, but we're three, so we'll see what we can do here. Whoa. Just a little bit more. Got him. Is a freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region, so I have no idea what it's doing here. Hmm. Alright, we've got some side missions, it said. So we can... After living near the Sunshine Sunscreen Factory for the past month, this muskie is now 70% oxybenzone. <laughs> so you can go after another muskie. Uh... Oh, it looks like you're investigating why a freshwater fish is here. We can go after a gator. See you later, Gator. Um, what's the crocodilio? <laughs> alligators prowling, prowling around, as most alligators are generally inclined to do. Makes sense. And then, of course, there's more license plates and other things. Okay, so I guess we'll start at the top. I don't know. Can we... Now, my question, can you track several at once? No, you can only track one at a time. Okay. All right, so that... Wow, that one's uh, quite a ways away. Uh, we have one that's closer. Oh, this one. Yeah, it's a bit closer. Maybe we'll go for that. I'm gonna go up. Kind of see what's on. Okay. So we're in the bayou, obviously. But you can still see the city out in the distance. Just, I still like that effect. It's very, very cool. But this bayou is gross. It is dirty. <laughs> 
Not probably not a place for a for a shark, really. There's a level eight alligator. Hey, there's a license plate. Look at this. Look at the setup they they uh, built here for us. You, like, you gotta roll down a roller coaster or something to get it. You see that? At least that's what it looks like. It's pretty ridiculous. All right, dive back under. All right, we got to go back that away. I saw that musky though, and I was like, yeah, maybe we'll go eat him, but. Someone just take a snap at me. Hmm. And the colors of uh, everything, like how it changes at night, looks looks pretty cool as well. All right, so there is a case over here, so we'll go grab this real quick. There we go. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. There's another box over there too. So I just got to find the best way to get over to these places. Here we go. Feel like that alligator is going to be like right around the corner. No, he's he's still far away. Nope, oh, nope. Get up over there. There we go. These scavengers of the sea are vital. That's hit level four, though. The ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. All right, where are we heading here? Where's that alligator? I feel like he could just sense me around here. Oops. Oh, we're getting into some weird, <laughs> janky control stuff there. Okay, the alligator doesn't know we're around. Oh, there's another level five. Whoa! So I will say controlling the shark at times when you're trying, especially if you're trying to focus on something, I could see why they put the focus button in there. Because otherwise it could be really hard to kind of see where you're at. Okay, good hit, good hit. And... I think that is him. Oh my god. We're gonna kill this guy that we're taking off. Take off! So that was Midwest Zest. Okay, so we just had to kill another one of those things. That's all we really had to do there. He's still coming after me. Back off! Okay, health is back. Alright, I'm coming after you. What do you think about that, dude? Oh, jeez. I did almost, like, no damage. This reminds me, of, I don't know if you guys ever <laughs> watched it, but there's this uh, old uh, Animal Planet show that I used to like, and they used to do stuff like, hey, what would happen if a shark, you know, met an alligator? Who would win type of thing. It was pretty fun to watch, actually. Oh, man. Yeah, the alligator really did a number on me there. Took me down to half health. I was doing okay against him. Then he just hit me a couple times there. You want more, huh? Oh, jeez. Oh god, I can't have two of them after me. No! Oh no, I didn't escape in time. Could it be a bit more likable? Didn't escape in time. Man. I saw a second alligator showing up right there. And I was like, no! We can't be anywhere near this guy. The shark is now a team. And we should expect much angst on we. And poor decision making. On we. <laughs> and poor decision making. I like that. Okay, so we are now a teen. Um, we still don't. Oh no, we do have enough to actually upgrade that. So let's go. Let's go do that. Upgrade advanced sonar. All right. Very cool. Visit the dead horse lake grotto pretty far away 
So we are... Okay, we're currently four, I see. So we just keep getting bigger and bigger. So I guess we just got four for whatever crazy stuff we were just doing. With lower concentrations of both arsenic and fecal coliform, Dead Horse's Grotto is a great place to take a break and evolve. We didn't really go after this guy. I think this was just another... That one was one that was further away, right? Okay, let's see if we can make it over there. Why not? Try to watch out for that alligator again this time because we still are not old enough to take him out oh God, I would eat that guy like nothing oh there's a see you later alligator thing popping up again we're gonna have to go buy him to get to this aren't we I wonder if their health you know, goes back up to uh, full or what. I guess we'll find out here in a second when we go buy them. I'm going to try to kind of just sneak over here. Sneak right through. Works for me. Okay, where are we? Alligator over there. Yeah, there's gonna be like some kind of weird fun water slide thing for me to go down to get that last license plate. Look, there's that one too. Interesting. We have to investigate that at some point. So this area to explore is actually much bigger than I was expecting. The bull shark's sensorial system comes alive with amplified vibrations. Oop. Come on, grab it. There you go. Remember Must paddle when faster. You find yourself hard aground. The best thing to do is stay with your canoe and die the death of an honorable sea. Got it. Oop, there's a box over there. We should go get that. Four out of seventeen cash is not bad. Often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. Oh, there's a level eight alligator. I can't wait till I can get at that alligator though. Two more levels. Hit level six. I'll be taking that guy out. No problem. Just like we did with the musky. We're using the shark Batman vision here. That's a big catfish. There's another cache over here, though. We're going to grab that. From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. Where are you? I got it with the tail whip that time. Where are you? Good one. There it is. I was wondering why it was like showing those things. So you can actually keep eating those little, like hearts or whatever that drop out of the fish. Because I saw those earlier. I didn't quite understand what it was. Because it was marked. It, was, it had a cursor on it. I didn't know what was going on. But you can eat those and get even more stuff. Another musky. Let's swim up here. 
Well, guys, actually, you know what? I, I feel like that is a pretty good stopping point here for the, the uh, Let's Play here. I think this gives you a good idea what to expect from the game. It starts you off with a bang, and then it kind of, like, turns into, like, kind of a more, um... I don't know how you want to put it, but almost like more of an RPG style game. Like, there's going to be... You can tell there's going to be a little bit of grinding to get yourself up, doing quests and everything like that. I, w I really was not expecting the whole... Oh, man, there's another alligator over there. Should we give the alligator one more shot before we go? I think we should. We're pow more powerful, we're wiser. I say we do it. We gotta dodge more, that's the thing. Where'd he go? Oh man, that was a good, good move right there. Where are you? Can't quite see him. I wish the, the focus, I'm gonna look in the settings real quick. I wish the focus was more of a toggle. Hmm. Because the, the, that would really help me if I could actually like log on you know, to the, uh, or uh, lock on to the, uh, alligator, you know? Oh, well, I might as well grab one of these before I die. Oh, come on! There you go. And I died right before I got it. Or did I? Until I read it contains seven no, I'm still alive. Disrupting chemicals and palm oil. All right, I need to eat. Here we go, grouper. Just got to eat. Where is that shark? Or not the shark, the alligator. I'm not fighting a shark. There he is. Okay, we're doing we're doing okay here. We dodged. Oh, he got me. Oh, I think we got him. Look at that. Now we're gonna eat all the delicious alligator fat stuff here. Mm mm. Whoa. Who's back? Oh, it's just a musky. You ain't nothing. Miss! We're gonna thrash. There we go. We ate him. Um, but yeah, there we go. We got that alligator. Or as they say down south, we got that gator. Um, I, yeah, I'm really, I'm really digging this. Uh, this is, <laughs> this is a ton of fun. I love being able to play as a shark eating this stuff. Um, and that should have counted, right? For our... What? It did not count. Even though we just killed a, a level 8 alligator. Oh well, whatever. Now I know I can do it. I'll go after somebody else or a different alligator next time. But we know we can take him out at least now. That was actually a big chunk of... Uh... Yeah, look, look where we're at now. Getting close to 5. We can take him out. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's Maneater. And that is an absolute ton of fun. I definitely... Recommend this one for you guys if you're looking for something like a bit different because I mean this is still a game You still got all those RPG elements going on in the background like leveling up and Collecting things and everything but you know there's a huge world to explore here lots of crazy enemies to, to fight and eat um, But uh, you get to do it under the ocean as a, as a shark and that's what I was hoping this game was gonna be and <laughs> that's what it is I'm actually kind of glad that it isn't just a an arcade game. I, I was thinking like, oh, uh, this is just a quick like, you know, pick a lagoon and eat people thing. It'll be fun, but it won't have the long lasting appeal, uh, you know, that I, that I'm looking for. This actually has like a story and and a uh, 
you know, uh, a thread to follow here, which is pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, really enjoying this so far. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to us here at Video Champs on YouTube because we come out with fun Let's Plays like this and other gameplay videos all the time. And, of course, I have my own personal YouTube channel, which is at youtube.com slash watchggrc. And there I have all kinds of other types of game uh, videos like reviews and, and fun, you know, silly videos, that kind of thing. I think you'll enjoy both channels, to be honest. I, think, I don't think you'll be sorry subscribing to both. Check them both out. I think you'll have a lot of fun with both of them and, you know, watching me get into all kinds of crazy, you know, different games, uh, you know, especially ones where you get to play as a shark eating alligators and people because <laughs> that's great. I'm in, right? Uh, but guys, thank you for watching. And of course, I'll see you all next time.